Welcome to the Lagos Real Estate Insider Podcast, the number one podcast dedicated to helping you create wealth, investing in real estate, and live a world-class life while making a difference and impact in the lives of people. I am your host, Idris Ndagwa. On this podcast, I share insight to the real estate market, advice and strategies for investing in real estate, and some of the latest real estate investment opportunities. I also share some motivation and inspiration for taking your life to the next level. Thanks for turning into this episode and let's dive in. Hello Insider Investors, welcome to another episode. I'm so excited about today's episode because today I have an incredible topic for you. I will be diving into creating your real estate investment plan to help you create a solid financial roadmap to financial Sussex. So whether you are a seasoned investor or you are just getting started, this episode is for you. But before I dive into it, there are two things that I want to share with you. And the first one is real estate is the way to wealth. Now, there is no wealthy man on this planet that do not have a real estate property as part of their portfolio. Think about this. Whether in business, politics, corporate job or professional job or any type of job. There's not any wealthy man on this planet who do not have a real estate investment as part of their portfolio. So that's why you want to think about creating a real estate investment plan for your financial success because there's no way you can create wealth without incorporating real estate into your portfolio. Now, the second thing I want to share is everything is about the right vehicle and changing vehicle because it is not what makes you successful that will keep you successful. It's not the same vehicle that gets you to seven and eight figures that will get you to nine and ten figure. You have to change vehicle. Sometimes it may be the same vehicle, but different approach. So everything is about finding the right vehicle and changing vehicles and what i mean by vehicle is it may be job it may be business it may be politics it may be your career whatever you do savings business investing they are all vehicles but sometimes you need to change vehicles at some point because if you want to use the same vehicle that get you to seven and eight figures it's a very slower or it will take too much time or probably it may be impossible to get to nine and ten figure using the same vehicle for example if it takes two years to make 10 million naira in your business now making another 10 million naira means it has to take you another two years but what if you change approach by investing part of the money into another system that we create extra 10 million naira you can see that everything is just about different approach or different vehicle so that's why everything is about vehicle so i want to share six steps with you on how to create your real estate investment plan and the first one is to set a clear goal or target now think about the things that you want to do this year or think about the things that you've been focusing on is real estate investment part of your investment plan sometimes it may be focused on family work or your career or any other thing so think about it is real estate investing part of your yearly commitment or part of the things you've been focusing on this year if it's not part of your plan then you want to think about incorporating real estate as part of your year goal or as part of your target step two is to clarify your purpose and intention about it now before you start anything you want to get clear on the why behind it why do you want to invest in real estate or why do you want to add real estate investments to your portfolio is it to make more money or to reserve real estate 
as part of your assets as a asset reservation and to resell it later in the future to make more money or do you want to create passive income like yearly rent or do you want to use it as a reserve asset for maybe backup purpose and what i mean by this is for example Femi or ten dollar which is one of our billionaires whenever he's taking high risk or want to take loan from the bank or anything that involve high level of risk he does use his real estate investment properties as a backup as a financial backup for the risk in case the risk is taken do not work out you have a real estate asset as a backup plan so is it part of your intention so you need to be very clear on the why the purpose behind creating your real estate investment plan step three is to create your real estate investment funding plan apart from setting a goal that you want to acquire an asset you want to buy a real estate property and apart from getting clear on the purpose or the why behind it you also need to get clear on how do i want to fund the property that i want to buy so this step start by evaluating your finance that is your monthly income and expenses you want to think about your monthly income how much do you earn per month and what is your monthly expenses such as your cost of living like rent car or transportation food family and other things that are counting on you because for you listening i believe you have people counting on you like family or people that you need to take care of so think about your monthly expenses then after evaluating your income expenses and other things that you need to take care of then you want to think about how can i save or what plan do i have to fund this plan so you want to do the calculation for example if your target is to buy a property of 50 million naira, and you want to do it in six months meaning in a month at least you have to save like one million naira per month so in six months that will be 60 million naira. so you want to think about how can you fund the real estate property that you would like to acquire and then you want to make a plan whether it's monthly savings or weekly savings or whatever way you like to fund it now i will take a break and i'll be right back this episode is brought to you by the brit beach estate the brit beach estate is located in eko akete abijo around lekki aja in lagos nigeria this estate has amazing features and opportunity including high return on investment opportunity potential for investors looking to get maximum return on investment within short amount of time this estate is directly facing the athletic ocean in the front side and you know globally waterfront properties are very expensive and appreciate faster as this estate is directly facing the athletic ocean on the back side is facing the lucky Ekbe expressway the estate has amazing proposed features there is going to be a residential hub and commercial hub in the estate there is going to be 24 hour security gated environment good road network water supply gym house resort center and a lot more it has the title certificate of occupancy the estate is still selling at a launch price of 15 million naira for the first 50 investors as the estate is fast selling we have only 40 slots left so to key in your slot in the Brit beach estates call 070 44 08 68 68 or test the Brit beach estate to 070 44 08 68 68 Again, call or test the Brit Beach Estate to 070-4408-6868. Now let's get back to the episode. Step 4 is to define your investment strategy. Now, 
real estate investment requires you to have an investment strategy for maximum return on investment based on your target and plan it's not just about acquiring a property but acquiring the right property that fits into your plan so you need a solid strategy for investing in a property that fits into your plan now there are different strategies for investing in real estate when considering your plan are you looking into residential property or commercial property do you want to rent list or buy or you want to resell do you want to lease for a short period of time or for a long period of time do you want to buy and resell later and i have an episode coming up on this topic where i will discuss deeply on them now are you looking to make more money or you just want to reserve an asset or you want to rent for a period of time you need to do the math and get clear on the numbers to know your expected return on investment so that's why you want to create a strategy that fits into your plan so if you are looking into making a rental income are you looking into flat or you want family residential property you want to make sure you think about a strategy that fits into your plan step five is to work with the best agents now real estate or becoming successful in life is a game of team not a solo game nobody has ever made it to the top alone they work with people but the right people not just working with people they work with the right people the same thing is applies to real estate you can't just do it alone you need the right people to work with so what you want to do is to work with an agent that understand your interest and know the market trend and by the way if you want to work with me you can simply chat me up or you can call me on 070-4408-6868 and we can discuss in depth what your plans are what are you looking into and what type of property is best fit for you or if you have anyone who is in need of a property you can refer me directly again 070-4408-6868 so what you want to do is work with an agent who understand the market trend because it's not all agents that understand the real estate market all they care about is just for you to buy from them and once you buy from them that's all the question now becomes what next after you buy from them for most people that usually be the end of your relationship with them they don't care whether you make money from it whether you achieve your goal or whether the property has any issue or not because there are some cases where an agent find a property belonging to someone else and at the end of the day the investor lose money just last week i was talking to a client who have previously worked with an agent and the property acquired out of four plots three plots were revoked back by the Omonile. so imagine someone losing three plots so it's not just about working with an agent you want to make sure you work with the right agent that knows what he's doing how to do the due diligence and how to protect your interests someone who is knowledgeable about the industry who know the right thing to do so that's why becoming successful in every area of life is about finding the right people and finally step six is to commit and go all in on your plan once you create a plan you want to make sure you are committed to it make a commitment to making your plan work how much do you need to save per month once once you make money you want to make sure you save for the real estate investment plan first before all other things because if you want to take care of your problems first at the end of the day what you may be having left may not be enough to invest at the same time if you are skeptical about using the money for something else or diverting your plan what you want to do is simply buy a property on instrumental payment where you can make a monthly commitment to complete payment on time making commitment to purchase on a payment plan will help you to be fully committed to making a payment on time and meeting up with the deadline 
if you are enjoying today's episode here are three ways you can work with me support me and this podcast number one share this podcast episode with a friend co-worker or family who you think may find it valuable if you share it with any of those people and they find it valuable they will thank you later because you are the source of sharing it with them will strengthen your relationship and it will help you take your relationship to the next level number two refer me to a friend who needs a property or a guidance for their real estate investment if you know anyone who need a property or want to make an inquiry or you need a property and you want to make an inquiry don't hesitate to contact me on 070-4408-6868 or you can email me at realestatewithidris at gmail.com and finally number three is to help me leave a review Now, if you review this podcast, whether on Spotify, Apple, or your favorite podcast listening platform, it helps boost the podcast performance and help other people just like you discover the podcast as a very valuable podcast. Thanks so much for listening to this episode, and I will talk to you in the next episode.